Hi, this is Deborah Dashinger with the Dare to Dream radio show. Thank you for joining us here. We're really excited to have you. And if you want to know more about me, go to www.debradashinger.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. Also, Twitter, Deb on the radio. YouTube, Deb on the radio. Facebook fan page. Join us there. Boy, we've been having a lot of fun. My book, the three-time bestseller, Dare to Dream This Life Counts, ended up in Barcelona. Well, I mean, someone in Barcelona has it and was eating dinner and took a picture of their dinner with the book on the table. I thought, how cool. I want to be in Barcelona, too, with my book. So I thought that's a really nice dream. Travel, travel, travel well, little book throughout the world. If you haven't yet gotten it, you can get it at any of your local bookstores. Just say Dare to Dream, This Life Counts by Debbie Dashinger, D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. And we're going to be talking today about failure and also about disappointment because from time to time, we all feel these things, right? And it's not a matter of will you feel disappointment and will you feel failure. It's a matter and a question of if you feel failure, if you feel disappointment, what are you going to do with those feelings? Because in my estimation, in my camp, I see two things happen, and people generally make one of two choices. One choice is to take the assessment of a situation or experience and say, therefore, I am a failure. And you can imagine how seeing out of the lens of that belief populates your entire life. Not do good. You don't want to go there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. However, there's a second camp. And the second camp is the camp I want to urge you to move into anytime you have the experience of failure or disappointment in your life. And that second camp is all about this was a failure or this turned out to be a disappointment because I had a particular expectation on a situation or a person and it didn't come to fruition as I had planned. You know what they say, you make plans and God laughs. <laughs> so when you have a really strong expectation over something and it doesn't manifest in that way and you feel disappointed or like that failed or that really didn't work out so well, what I want to urge you to do instead is just to learn it's an incredible education. We have all been there. We've all been there where we look around and say, okay, why didn't that work? That's where you go. Why didn't that work? What do I need to learn about this? Relationships, are they not working out for you? Is love not in your fall cast? Well, honey, look at, there's one common denominator and that would be you. Mm -hmm. Same thing with jobs. Same thing with pick the subject or the pattern. And if it continues to not work out, you can blame and decide I'm a victim and I'm a failure, or you can take a much easier route in your life and just say, okay, let's be real here. What am I doing that over and over again keeps creating this result? Learn from it because you can completely change how and who you are in relationships, how and who you are sh showing up for jobs and careers, how you show up for yourself, for your health, for you pick the subject, yes? So in reality, nothing ever really fails. It is our reaction to the experience. Nothing really fails. It's a standard we set. It is something that we said, you know, this particular outcome has to happen or not good for me. So the outcome doesn't happen and then the demise comes, the beliefs come. The truth is we can never be a failure. Something might fail to happen, something might be a disappointment, but we are never failures, got it? You're dare to dreamers, honey. You're not a failure. You're tuning in. You want more, better, bigger. This I know. And welcome. Because we're all part of the same tribe. It's simply not true, and I don't want you to go there. So actually, if there's been some kind of a breakdown in your life, fix it. Make an amends. Go to the institution or the people and say, I messed up, and I'm really sorry. Go to yourself and say, I'm really sorry. I keep doing this to you. What a wacky reality I keep creating for you. If you don't want it anymore, honey, don't do it. Just don't step into that. When you know better, you'll do better. Hmm, what does Debbie mean by that? When I know better, I'll do better. It's true. When you know better, you'll do better. Everything is energy. And when we stay stuck in a pattern, it's stuck energy, which is awful. It's stagnant energy. Energy needs to move. That's what energy is all about. So forgive yourself, forgive others, write what happened, learn your lesson with love and grace, and take the next right step in your life. 
When you beat yourself up, you stay stuck. But when you know better, you do better. So if you are feeling some level of failure or disappointment, think about it right now and feel into it and ask yourself this question, is my interpretation of this having been a failure or a disappointment, is this mine or does it belong to somebody else? Now if, it, if you get right away, wow man, that doesn't belong to me, that's pretty interesting, then return it to sender with love attached. If you say, that is mine, then where does that belief come? Why did you form that belief about this? And is this belief about this event or several events in your life serving you or swerving you? If it's serving you, well, figure out what you're getting out of it because it can't be that good to keep repeating failure. Aw. And it's swerving you, which is probably what's happening, is totally taking you off your path and your course. So let's get you right back on. Prove to yourself. This is what it's all about. It's self-trust, self-love, self-worth. Prove to yourself. Accept yourself. Prove to yourself you can do better. And allow yourself to do better so you can move forward in your life in a direction that matters to you. Breath, everybody. Breath. Dance with life. Feel its flow. Feel its ebbs. Allow the journey and the flow. Allow the successes and the perceive this didn't work out quite like I had wanted. How we perceive these events is right here in our minds. We choose the thoughts we think. Accept, choose, take action. Trust life and the most extraordinary things will happen. Trust yourself and build a rapport with yourself so you know you can do and be the best you can be. Develop an intimate relationship with yourself so you can learn to depend on yourself. That's where the trustworthiness comes in. Not to mention trusting yourself in this life and the next and the next. You want to be that for yourself for all time. Be in your day. Choose in your day the way you want to be in your life. It'll set you up. Focus your thoughts in a very positive direction and draw to yourself exactly what you need. If you're listening to this right now, you need to hear this, yes? If you're listening to this and you're getting something out of this, take a moment and write a little something. Write a little something of gratitude to yourself and also let us know that you're listening to us and that you're getting it and it means something because that means something to us as well, to do this every week for free and want and desire to inspire, to help. So let us know we're helping. Let me know. I, say, I use the word us, right? But you could see there's really not a team behind me. It's me. <laughs> it's moi. So my darlings, let life take over to fix things because that's really the dance. The dance is to do and to take action and to lean back and let life move and the winds flow to take over. There's so much there and peace. We're not alone. We have beloved unseen friends. We must do what we can and then allow the healing to begin. I'm going to give you a very quick example from my own life. Of course, I have many, but this is just one of many. I heard many years ago from a producer who knows about my radio show and knew about me from some people. This producer is attached to some very big... So, okay. This producer is attached to a very well-known actor who funds big projects. The producer was very interested in me, my show, and taking me to a whole nother level, envisioning me in television, envisioning me doing things that are near and dear to my heart, where I see myself as well. So, you know, we've gotten together and had talks with he and his partner. And I will tell you, then came the big snore where two years went by, nothing, right? So we seem like we're on the road to something and suddenly nothing. For two years, nothing. Now I had choices at that crossroad. What do you do with that nothing? I could get really bogged down and go, wow, man, that was my opportunity. Wow, that didn't happen. I guess that's because I'm not worth it. My show's not really that good. Yeah, there's probably a million of me out there. And anyway, he probably found a much bigger project. I mean, oh my God, I can't even stand to say that stuff because that's not where my head goes. But it's, it's horrible. Can you feel that ugh, energy when I say it? I can. I don't even want to keep going because I could. The actress in me could give you a whole intention and character, but I don't want to go there because that's not where I live. So in shifting myself 
what did I do? And here is my secret that I offer to you. I did not wait. I did not wonder. I did not think, gee, is something going to go through? Because time marches on, and so must I. Right? So therefore, I continued to put myself out there in really big ways, in other venues, and wonderful things continue to happen to me and for me. Okay, you get the point. Now here's what's fascinating. It may not always work out this way, but it just did. So I'm very relaxed about the whole thing. And Monday, I saw an email from a colleague of mine who just was mentioning in passing that he's working on a television show with da 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 producer and his partner. I'm like, oh, how interesting. Well, I know those people. Less than an hour later, the telephone rang. It was the very same producer saying, listen, sorry we haven't been in touch, but all this new stuff going on, we wanted to wait, and we have all new ideas, and we want to get together with you again and have conversation and see where this is going to take us. So what am I going to do? Always I go to my feelings first. It feels right, of course, and I like this person, so I will meet with them. I will see what's there. It's an opportunity. I show up for opportunities. Yes, I do, I do. And I'm going to have my very best self with me, and I'm going to be very happy to hear what they're thinking. And when it's all done, I'm going to feel inside if it's right for me, because my barometer is right here, and I know what's right for me and what isn't. So I'm going to know if it's right for me, and if it's right for me, I will proceed forward. And if it's a real opportunity, and it's right for me, I will proceed forward, yes? And that's that. And isn't that amazing how that worked out? I don't put stock into it. If it works out, terrific. If it doesn't work out, terrific. I believe this connection will come to fruition in my life if it is meant to be. If not, something much juicier that is in store for me will happen instead. Disappointment is what happens when I have an expectation. So I go into this with no expectation. With all things I wheel and I deal, with all the calls I get, with interests I get from so many different factions, darling, it's like pasta. Sometimes you just got to throw it on the wall and see what sticks. Do you know what I'm saying? Just see what sticks. And usually that's divine providence for me. Okay, you're sticking, and it feels good here. Let's move forward together, all right? So I offer you the same because my life is going to be what it's meant to be. I can only keep showing up, being my best, loving myself, doing the right work, and it creates a feeling of success at all times. Well, there's my call. Dare to dream. Love ya.